a graph of the cubic function f of x equals 2x cubed plus 5x squared plus x minus 3 is shown. Here is the function. The tangent to f of x at the point 0 minus 3 is also shown on the diagram. Here is the tangent and this is the point 0 minus 3 where the tangent touches the curve. Part i. Write down f dash x, the derivative of f of x, or f prime x. So what we have to do is bring down the power in front and reduce the power by 1. They are the steps involved in differentiation. So we bring down the 3 in front of the 2. 2 multiplied by 3 gives us 6, and 3 take away 1 gives us 2. We repeat the step with the next term. We bring down the power in front and we reduce the power by 1. Bringing down the power in front, 2 multiplied by 5 gives us 10 and 2 take away 1 gives us 1. So we get 10x to the power of 1, which is just going to be 10x. Then we have plus x. Well, x on its own is really 1x. There's an, an invisible 1 in front of any variable on its own. So what we're going to do is cancel out the x and just bring down the 1. And then we have minus 3, which is a constant, and we cannot differentiate a, const a constant because dy dx means differentiate y with respect to x, and there is no x involved with minus 3. So we're just going to cancel that out. So the derivative of the function 2x cubed plus 5x squared plus x minus 3 is going to give us 6x squared plus 10x plus 1. Part 2 says, hence, find the slope of the tangent to f of x at the point 0 minus 3. So when we see the word slope, we want to think differentiate. So we're trying to find the slope of the tangent, so the slope of the line, to f of x at the point 0, 3. So this is the point 0, 3, so we're basically trying to find the slope of this straight line. So to find the slope of the tangent at a particular point, we substitute the x-coordinate of the point into the derivative. So it's very, very important that we sub in the x-coordinate to the derivative, not the original function. So we found the derivative to be 6x squared plus 10x plus 1 in part 1 of the question. So now we need to substitute 0 in place of the x in each term. And we're subbing in 0 because 0 is the x value in the coordinate 0 minus 3. We do not sub in the y value. So f prime 0 is going to be 6 times 0 squared plus 10 times 0 plus 1 because the derivative was 6x squared plus 10x plus 1. So all I've done here is just swapped the x values for zeros and I got that because the x part of my coordinate is 0. Okay, 6 times 0 squared is 0, that cancels out. 10 times 0 is 0, that cancels out, so I'm just left at 1. So the slope of the tangent to the curve at x equals 0 is going to be 1. So the slope of this line here is 1. In part 3, we're asked to find the equation of the tangent to the curve at the point 0 minus 3. So what we need to do is go and find the equation of the line formula from our formula tables, which is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. If we want to find the equation of a straight line, there are two things that we need. We need a point on the line, which we have, 0 minus 3, and we need the slope of the line, which we also have from the previous question. The m represents the slope in this formula. We label our point on the line x1, y1, and our slope is going to be the m. So then all we have to do is sub into our formula, the y stays as y, the minus stays as minus, and y1 becomes minus 3. So very important that we have y minus minus 3 in this case. Equals stays as equals. The m swaps for 1 because we got the slope to be 1 in the previous question. We bring down the bracket and the x and the minus, and then we swap the x1 for a 0 because we got x1 to be 0, and then we close our bracket. Then we just have to multiply out anything that needs multiplying, so that's going to be the minus by the minus giving us a plus there, the 1 by x giving us x, and 1 by minus 0 will just be 0, so we don't need to write that down. 
So we end up with y plus 3 equals x, and we should try and arrange our equation so that we have y on the left of the equal sign, and the x value and any numbers on the right of the equal sign. So this is in the form of y equals mx plus c. So we have y equals x minus 3. So the equation of this straight line here is y equals x minus 3. So it has a slope of 1 and it crosses the y-axis at minus 3. So that's how we have the minus 3 there. This is known as the y-intercept.